Hi everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this lovely wedding card. And this wedding card is using um, ooh, the um, embossing folder called Big Shot. Yeah, lovely florals from the. Uh, Love what you do bundle. I can't get this. Jump back in there. That's it. Um, yeah, my daughter's asked me for four wedding cards. So she has four weddings this year. So this is wedding card number one. She likes it. Said she'd have another one. So I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to do it in very vanilla. So I have very vanilla thick at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Then I have two normal pieces of very vanilla at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a die that cuts hearts. Obviously this big heart and I use number one, two, three, number four on this to make this heart here which I've already cut out. I've just got a stamp on it and pray I stamp straight and in the heart. And I also have a die, this, and it cuts out little hearts. So if you can see it, nice little hearts. And this is what I've put behind the big heart. I just cut it up and use bits of it to put behind the big heart. So that's what all this is. I do have a bit of gold ribbon for the card. <laughs> so let's get started. I need to bring the big shot up to do the Embossing folder, so I need one of these bits of card. Now, what I want to do this time is get that flower mainly to the top of the card, straight. That's the back, that's the front. Right. Big shot. And because it's a dynamic folder, we don't need a plate on the bottom. We just need the folder in. Oh, I forgot to take this plate off. moved. Obviously took the bottom plate off, forgetting to take the other plate. <laughs> Stupo, that's me. Right, get rid of that. Oh. That's quite heavy, that is. Not doing my back any good. Right, next thing we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. And the sentiment comes from Beautiful Bouquet and it's just got Happy Wedding Day. So we're using that one there to 
already mounted and I'm going to stamp it in soft suede I think let me see how dark it is no that's just what I want so please stamp it straight and oh yeah that's nice in the stamp not like that that's nice right next job put the ribbon on and that will go on there and that with its bits will sit on there yes so we want some double sided tape I've got that much tape here red liner tape that's in plastic bags really need to sort it out right I'm going to stick a little bit for in the middle of my ribbon just so it sticks right lift this one off and this one off and stick my ribbon on there no. that's going to stick on there that bit off the front stick this on the card extra glue where the embossing is this heart what I did turned it upside down and put some glue around the outside and with my paper snips I cut these up so I cut that one off wherever there was like a branch of them. I just cut them up. And then just stuck them on the glue. just so that they stick on the outside. I do have two. And this one can go there. And 
to put anywhere on the bottom? Not really. So. And that is what that looks like. I think it's quite pretty. We got another one? Yeah. That one I'm going to put in there. Yeah. And then this where I put on with dimensionals. So one there, one there, and one there. And then pop this on there. That's such a quick and easy card to do. I got the idea from Pinterest, but I've just added my own little twist on it. And now for some gems and all we do is put a little bit gem in the centre of each flower we'll pick that up oh, I didn't do that one, I did that one One in the middle of that one. And one there. I think that was it. Yeah. And then I put three on the heart. So one here. It says. Two down here, and the inside I did. What did I do on the inside? Oh, yeah, I put um. Congratulations. Now where did that come from? That came from... I'm sure that came from Wonderful Moments. Let me get the stamp set. Wonderful moment, and I use that one. Congratulations and best wishes, which is um, yeah. Get my mat, my block, and put that on. And what I also did on the inside is, I don't know if you can see it, I stamped a heart. It's not a stamping up one. This is actually a free one out of a magazine. Uh, it's a Ducraft paper mania. And I stamped that in a... On the inside, 
obviously you don't have to do nothing like this I'm just showing you what I did so I need this big block for this and I need a scrap of paper and with smoky slate I inked up the heart I stamped it off not very well do it again stamped it off and then stamped it in the middle of the card Quite a pretty stamp this, it's got roses and all stuff romantic inside it. And then I got my sentiment. And stamped that full strength on top. And that's how it's come out. I think it's come out. Very nice. Had a bit on it. I thought I'd um, overstamped, but well, I hadn't. Just clean my stamps off. Put that back in there, and I'll sort that out later. Right, and we just need to. Glue this in. And there you have it. A very vanilla and a white one. Very vanilla and gold and white and silver. If you like it please give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe. Press the notification bell next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.